Radio is the first thing that got me into music. Um, there were very few uh, families that had TVs when I was growing up. I mean, that wasn't really until the early to mid 70s. So all of your entertainment came from the radio. And uh, I think it made quite a big difference to how we grew up uh, as opposed to how some of the youngsters are growing up today because there was no BET, there was no MTV. So if you got into music, it was purely because of what you heard rather than what you saw. Were I not a musician, I would almost certainly be a gardener of some description. I had a, a job as a landscape gardener twice, once with Lambeth Council and once with Wandsworth Council. Got sacked from both, not very good with the timekeeping. But it was very, very um, satisfying, even if you only uh, were turning up at a school to remove all the leaves in autumn and put them in these big bins, stick them on the truck and drive off in the place of a beautiful new leaf. Yeah, very, very satisfying job. So, a gardener probably. The Black Star products I'm currently using are this, my HT20, which is a fabulous amp. I like a, a really clean sound that you can mess up at your pleasure. And this gives me a really nice, beautiful, clean sound. And I have uh, an Artist 15, which I'm lending to Dover, purposes of the next tour. And a really, really cool overdrive pedal where I can hear the guitar as well as the uh, crunchiness. Hi, I'm Chris Dover, and I play slide guitar in Maxi Gaz and the e type Boys. I used the Artist 15. First saw these amps when I saw a video of Jared James Nichols using them and just love his tone. What made me switch to Blackstar was quite simply the sound. I got to try one and I thought, oh, this old Gretsch has never sounded so good. <laughs> Let me try another one so it kind of worked from there. My name is Jake Libretto. I play guitar in Maxi Jazz and the e type Boys. The amp I use is the HT40 Club, which is a two-channel amp. Each channel has a voicing, so I kind of use it almost like a four-channel, and um, I love it. The Blackstar amps that I've been uh, using thus far are just right for what I'm doing because they give me exactly the sound that I want on stage, which of course is really important because if you hit that first chord or hit that first note and it doesn't sound exactly right, it's off-putting. And the really cool thing is that they give Dover exactly the sound and Jake exactly the sound that they want to and they play entirely differently from me. That's why I'm, I'm happy. I like anything at all that's versatile from guitars to amplification to musicians. My mum and dad both influenced me but my dad took me to see Deep Purple when I was about 11. Ever since then I wanted to do heavy rock and things like that but I've got influenced into jazz, funk, blues. I'm hugely influenced by a player called Anders Osborne of uh, New Orleans who's a fantastic slide guitar player, uh, Jimmy Page, Derek Trucks, all, all the kind of greats really, but, uh, but yeah, Ben Harper was my main influence has to pick up a slide. Deep Purple, Thin Lizzy, Free and Gary Moore, and then you have your soulful, funky guys like Noel Rogers and people like that. What we as a band have planned for the future is to play as many gigs as we possibly can and make at least three or four more albums and tour the world until they're tired of us. Um, how do I prepare for a live show? I um, tell myself incessantly to be myself because quite often you can have a, a gig that is like pretty much any other gig except it's important for whatever reason. Maybe there's people there to see you or record deals in the offing or whatever it is. It's important to just tell yourself to be yourself because that actually is not difficult. And plus, um, I'm a Buddhist, so I chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo a couple of times too. The best piece of advice I would give to a beginner is don't be like me, practice.